Happy New Year. I'm super excited. And your phone's ringing. Welcome to Shift Heads and to 2023. I am super excited for this year, mainly because I'm actually going to start doing stuff with my Ford Explorer. And yeah, you guys probably have no idea what that is, especially if you're new to the channel, but my Explorer is really near and dear to my heart. I've had it for a long time. I've got a lot of memories with that thing. And this is the dashboard that's out of it. And it had a rubbery plastic kind of covering on it and it was just cracking up and brittle as you can see that there's you know all these cracks here from the sun and it never had a cover on it so it just got really beat up and so i've decided i've stripped all of that covering off and i've got a pile of junk down here to show just exactly how difficult that was i was going to film a little bit of me taking that apart but it was really kind of boring and, and it well how interesting could it be Anyway, I got new material. I'm gonna cover this in a suede and I've got that right over here. This is the material I'm gonna cover it up in. And you can see it's got this foam backing, but it actually comes apart quite easily. So all I'm going to use is just the suede bit right there. And I'm gonna wrap the dash in that. But first, I need to get this all nice and smooth and in one piece, and I got this foam clay stuff that air dries about 48 hours. I can take this and goop it on here and it sands down. I've actually started to work with it. This is just like kind of a testing piece. And just to show you real quick, it's really simple. We'll just come in right here. You can see, you know, it's, it's raised edges, but I can just hit it with the sandpaper, nice and light. It sands down and that's gonna smooth everything down. I'm probably gonna have to do several layers in certain spots, but it's, it's so nice and it really works. I'm, I'm excited to be doing this. It's gonna come out great and, and oh, I'm just, mm, can't wait to drive that thing again. And one of the main big reasons why I'm doing this with my Explorer is my oldest son is going to be driving here at the end of this year He's turning 16 in December, and I, I'm still having a hard time finding an engine for the Ranger that I bought him. And if I don't have an engine for that thing, he's most likely gonna start driving my F-150. And I'd much rather him be in my F-150 than my Explorer because my Explorer means a lot to me. And I'm willing to let the F-150 get burnt up in a crash. Not saying that he will, but if it does happen, I'd much rather it be that than a car that I can't replace. But before I can get into the fun stuff of putting the wrap, or putting the suede on it and making it look cool and all that and everything, like I said, I need to smooth out these cracks and there's certain areas. So I'm gonna start putting stuff on it with this foam thing. Like I said, I've already kind of played around with it a little bit and I'm just gonna start packing this stuff in. I got so excited when I found this at Hobby Lobby because I was I was looking at the foam that they had and it was like either way too soft or like that that styrofoam crap and I was like I don't know how I'm gonna do this I'm thinking like I can cut this stuff up and like and like just do you know it, it, and like I could cut sections of this out and possibly you know build it up and make it match, but that's gonna be a lot of work. And then one of the employees there was like, oh, we got this stuff right here. And I was like, what?
It's nice that this is so easy to work with. I wish body filler was this easy to work with, you know? <laughs> you ever work with Bondo? This sh fucking sucks. <laughs> so now this stuff, I've pretty much gotten all the spots that I'm really concerned about taking care of at this point, but this stuff takes about 48 hours to dry to, to a hard state like this spot that I've got here. So unfortunately for now, that means that what I can do with this is done for the day. Now there's spots along here, like there's this raised edge that goes all the way around the dashboard. I'm not too worried about building this bit up because it actually will get covered by this fascia piece on the dash it'll actually go right over it. Like I'm not gonna pop it into place, but you can see where this lip is gonna go right over that. And so I'm not too worried about building that up, but I'm hoping that I got enough material to cover this dash and hopefully I'll get a little bit more material so I can recover my armor. Yeah, see, see that? That's, that's what this dash looked like. Yeah, that all that nasty stuff right there. So I'll take this apart and hopefully I can stitch something together to recover this. And then I'll also got the glove box panel that I got to wrap up. And hopefully there will be a few more items that I can do on that as well. So, but for now, that's all we've got. That's all I can do. So eventually I, I really want to get this back on the road and going. I want to have the interior or at least most of it done by my birthday. Uh, I want to get the seats reupholstered, but that's going to be really expensive and I don't quite have the funds for that right now. But the carpet kit and the headliner getting fixed. This is a sample from the carpet kit that I'm planning on getting later. And this is going to be the headliner material that I'm going to do. And this is obviously, like I said earlier, this is the material for the dash. It, it's really, really going to look good. And oh, can't wait i'm so excited for it i'm i'm just i'm jazzed up about this don't worry there's quite a few things with the excursion going on too it's just i'm kind of putting that on the back burner because right now mechanically everything's good with it not too worried it's just a few small things to improve it that i want to do and uh, on another side note today two years ago i bought the f-150 and to give an update on that it's still a great truck I love it. There's a noise in the rear end that I'm trying to track down, but I think it's just something that's a little loose because you step on the gas here and there every once in a while and I just get a clunk from the rear end and uh, I'm, eventually I'll find it. I just don't know what it is right now. Speaking of my birthday, I actually have something lined up. It's gonna be a surprise for the channel, but I'm also excited for it too because it's gonna be a really, 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 really fun project and I'm super excited for that. And if I end up not being able to find an engine for this Ranger um, and I need parts for the Explorer or this other project, the Ranger is a perfect carcass to grab bits and pieces off of to use for both of them, which is awesome because the Ranger, the dashboard is the same as this one for the Explorer. So if this ends up not coming out the way I want it to, I can try again with stuff from the Ranger. Yeah. But anyway, as for now, that's pretty much all I can do this week. I'll probably work on this throughout the, the, the week while I, you know, after work and whatnot and everything. And I'll, I'll probably try and do a little bit of filming with that. But for now, unfortunately, that's going to have to do it. I'm sorry it's so short, but hey, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time. <laughs>